Hello everyone, it's Mandy Ross with Wind's Foxy Nest. Hey, tonight I'm going to show you how to decorate a tea towel with uh, um, our ink. So we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between chalk paste and ink. And we're going to give it a try and see what we come up with. So welcome to the replay uh, and I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Um, just went to the movies and saw Star Wars. It was a great movie. I, I really enjoyed it. It's kind of a tradition with me and my kids that we go um, to a movie during Christmas and we always watch something like uh, Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. So um, we had fun. So let's talk about chalk paste versus chalk uh, versus our ink. So today we're going to do, uh, we're going to ink on some tea mats. So eventually I want to ink on this Pampered Chef tea mat, but I haven't. Uh, inked on a fabric, so I'm going to test it out on just this white one. So we're going to do two of them tonight. So paste. So let's stop. Start back mm -hmm. on the chalk paste. So chalk paste is if you want to be removable. So why I love chalk couture is the fact that it's so forgiving, and if you make a mistake or you want to redo a design, and um, you just simply it goes on wet, dries hard, and it's going to stay there until you actually decide to wash it, okay? But our chalk ink is actually permanent, and I actually did a live, I think on Tuesday, making these cute little farmhouse mugs, and um, I heat set it in the oven, and was able to make it permanent with our ink. So I can put them in the dishwasher because this mug is actually dishwasher safe. So I can put it in the dishwasher and it'll be fine. Same thing with these uh, tea towels that we're going to make tonight. You can put them in, once you heat set it, you can put it in the washer and just wash it with your with your clothes like you normally would and your design's going to stay on there. So the things that you're going to need that we're going to use tonight is a tea towel, uh, our chocolate ink, and I'm just using a uh, a utility, a plastic knife for a stir stick, a squeegee, our transfers. I'm using a set of our farmhouse transfers. So there's actually, this actually comes as a set and there's 12 of them. So you can get different designs and do different cute little projects with it. And then you're gonna need some parchment paper to actually uh, put on the, on the design to actually heat set it. Um, I think that is it. So let me, uh, sync up with my phone here in case people join and ask questions and stuff. Hey Sandra, um, you guys feel free to ask questions and let me know um, how I can help with your projects. If you know if you get something and you're doing a project, just hit me up on Facebook Messenger or you know in our group, and I would be glad to answer questions for you as you go along. Um, you know if you want to know what to use, paste or ink. That can be a little confusing at first, and it's just a little bit of a learning curve, but it's super fun um, to do these projects. Um, I love to do home decor, so I love to do my design, so I'm glad that Chalk Couture actually kind of helps me with that, and stays. In, I'm able to stay in style, and I'm able to change up things pretty easy. So first of all, I'm actually gonna start on this one. Um, it's a little, just a little one that I've had for ever, just to kind of see, um, how it works. Uh, the one thing I don't have is an ink mat, and they, they actually recommend that, but I think it's going to be okay uh, without it. So, hello, Christina. Um, so, but I just want to try this, try it on this so if I mess up, um, I don't mess up on my actual Pampered Chef, Chef, Chef one. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is actually um, get it folded right, okay? So, you're going to fold it let me show you how this is how the pamper chef was folded. So take your tea towel and uh, lay it out. Okay, you're going to fold it once here to the center, once here to the center, and then fold it one more time. And just so you know where your design is going to be, right? So when it's laying out on the countertop, you, you can see it. So this has a tag on the back, so I'm actually going to move it here. And I'm just going to get it pretty um, centered and then I'm actually going to use the farm to table on this one and if you're new uh, these are our silk screen transfers 
and they're reusable so I can use this on with our ink and our and our paste so they clean up the same you clean them up in water and they're reusable 8 to 12 times most of the designers get more use out of our transfers as long as you take care of them um, you should actually get more so for fabric normally you know I would fuzz it because I didn't I don't want it to be so sticky but for fabric we don't have to fuzz it because it's not going to stick to the cloth that uh, you know that much so then I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and see where uh, you know where it's centered at and since these are um, sticky but they are uh, you know you, you move them you can you can reposition them is what I'm trying to say um, now I'm going to unfold it and see if it stays on there now I know where my design is actually where I need to be so we have these what they call inking mats and I think it would actually come come in real handy especially if you're doing like bigger fabric uh, projects so if you're doing like a pillow or a shirt um, what I'm hoping is that I'll be able to do my smaller ones without it and that's why I'm trying it just on this this cheaper um, tea towel. Um, my only concern is that it might bleed without it being on that mat. So I'm kind of a rule breaker, and I kind of like to see <laughs> what I can get away with and what I can't. So we're going to try it and see if it actually bleeds without that the inking mat. And basically, the inking mat is a like this kind of like this fabric mat that quilters would use, but it has this, it's sticky on the top, so your your fabric would actually stick to it. And I think the only reason you would use it is so your project wouldn't move around. So as we go along, I'll give you some tips. One of the tips is to actually kind of give yourself a little bit more room on your projects by using painters tape. Just to go around it just so you don't get ink where you don't want it right so I'm gonna just give myself just a little more room by putting some painters tape around my project and that's all it's for you don't because you don't have to these are self adhesive so we don't have to use it to actually get the, the silk screen transfer to stick we just want to give ourselves just a little bit more room for error I guess a little more room to get messy okay so that's the first tip the second tip is going to actually be um, here's our ink and this is what we use to make things permanent so I use it on the coffee mugs you can use it on obviously tea towels you can um, pillowcases shirts someone actually made a quilt they they actually did the silk screens on fabrics and then they made a quilt it was really cool so I'm going to just stir this up and put your ink you very little ink okay so you don't have to put a big glob so I'm actually going to be air on the caution side and I'm going to put it on the blue part and then squeegee it down into my design because I don't want a big glob on my silk screen. Okay. That. Just put it around your design. Okay. And then squeegee it, squeegee it on. That's probably enough. Okay, so now I'm going to squeegee it on and then squeegee off the excess basically. Number two tip is to always make sure that your fingers are clean before you touch the other part of the fabric. So putting it actually helps you kind of have a place to place your fingers as well. Okay. Now we're just squeegeeing on the, the uh, ink 
onto the design on the silkscreen part. And so that's the difference between the, you know, they look like stencils, but they actually have a screen on them, which gives it that clean, clean crisp design that you kind of, you like, okay? Okay, so I have some excess. I'm just going to put it back in my jar. So you see that it took very little to actually do the project. So this three ounce jar would last you for quite a few projects. Okay. Let me get that off. Okay. Now we're just going to peel this up. And again, make sure you you don't have anything on your hands. Hello, Debbie. I'm going to peel off my tape. And I'm going to reuse it. Well, maybe. There was some ink on there, so I might have to use some other stuff. When you do your transfers, you want to pick them up left to right or top to bottom so you don't stretch them. Let's see. Oh, it turned out good. And I'm just going to put it in some water, a tub of water I have over here, so that um, I can wash it. Okay, so let's see. What do you guys think? Okay. We're going to do another one, but let me just talk about how you would actually heat set this. So I'm going to let this project dry for like um, 24 hours, okay? And then what you would do is just take a little bit of parchment paper, some parchment paper, and um, lay it on top of the design part. Let me get over here. Thank you, Debbie. I would uh, lay it on top of the design part, okay? So now you have two options. You can just take your uh, handheld iron, okay, and put the parchment paper on top, and then for four, put your iron on medium heat, and then for four minutes you would go over like in a circular motion uh, on the front of on the front of your project, and then you would turn it over and actually do the back of your project. And hopefully I'm not getting that everywhere, okay? So. Um, and then after that, so you do it four minutes on one side and four minutes on the other side with the, with the parchment paper on top. After that, it's heat set and you can actually wash it in the, in the regular washer. Okay. So now I'm brave enough. That was my first ink project on favorite, fabric. So I wanted to make sure I didn't mess, mess anything up. Okay, now I'm brave enough. I'm going to try this little farmer's market with a horse on it. Isn't that cute? I, li I love these little farmhouse minis. They're so cute. Uh, let's see. So, and I'm actually making this for a gift. So I'm hoping they're, they'll like it. I think they will. They're like little, um, this person is crazy about farm animals and uh, farmhouse decor. Okay. So, oh, let me put you back down so I'll show you again. So I put it in place while it, while I have it folded up like I would want it on my um, counter. Next, that's actually the back. So I'm gonna, because there's a tag in there. So I'm actually gonna put it back here. Okay, so you just kinda wanna eyeball it and center it up. And I love this little, um, these are Pampered Chef. This is the Pampered Chef tea towel. And I loved how this little design was because it reminded me of, um, you know, a, a farmhouse. Okay, so I've got that on there. I'm going to unfold it and actually do the paint on it now, or the ink, sorry. So, again, I'm going to put some painter's tape on there. That one. See if I can reuse any of the other ones without messing up my project. They all have ink on them, I think. Yep, they all got ink on them. So let me get some more tape here. And that's just a great practice to just to give you some more wiggle room so you don't get ink all over your project 
Hold on. What's going on here? Okay. There. Oh. How many of you guys actually craft with uh, for your uh, therapy? You guys actually have craft therapy? <sighs> so one of the reasons I like to craft is it just gets my mind off what's going on in my world. And I love that Chalk Couture is so easy that you actually can complete a project and feel accomplished after you get it done. And it actually matches something that you'd actually want to put in your house and display or give as a gift for others. Okay, so we're going to, okay. So a tip is to actually put it on the blue part. Okay, so you're not blobbing it on the silk screen just yet. Uh, and not to do too much. Just gonna put it on the side there. Okay, so let's see, because you can always put on more, you can't, but you can't take off. You can't take it off. Okay, check your fingers. Make sure you don't have ink on them. And I'm just using a Lysol wipe, so it's easy to clean up. And I'll, like on these, if you do like ceramics and you mess up, just take it over to the um, uh, sink and wash it off real quick. If you mess up on these, if you can take your Lysol wipe and you might be able to get it out before it sets. So, um, you know, if you have a little spot that didn't, that got on it, try Get it off with the Lysol wipe. If not, just find another design to kind of cover it up. But this is probably a little less forgiving than the chalk paste because it is permanent. So it did make me a little nervous trying it. Okay. Gonna take off the excess. And I'm just gonna put the excess back in my jar. So it took very little. You'll be able to use that jar for a long time. Okay, again, make sure you have no ink on your hands. And I'm going to take up the tape. And let's see if this actually works. So I like the fact that it worked in a, without the inking mat. That was one of the things I wanted to try. The inking mat, just I think, just helps you the fabric stay in place a little bit. Okay, now, so take your transfers off from top to bottom or left to right. Aw, there's my M and my E is, could probably use a little bit more pace. So I'm actually just going to put it back down and put some more paste on it or some more ink. See if this will work. This is gonna be the cutest handmade gift. Uh oh, I might have got too much on my M. But we're gonna go with it. I think it's because I put it right on top of there. But that's gonna be okay. Okay, let me show you. See the M kind of got filled in just a little too much, and I think it's because I put I put the ink right on top of it, so I should have put put it on the blue part and then and then got it and then brought it down to the design. But I don't think you're gonna really notice. I, I think it's really cute. So again, I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours, and um, and then I'm gonna use my parchment paper on it and heat to heat set it so I'm going to put the parchment paper over it and then use my handheld iron for four minutes on the front and, and then four minutes on the back going in circular motions. The other thing I thought, thank you Debbie, the other thing I thought would be really cute with this is to make um, 
uh, take it, take some tea towels and actually make, if you have like a, a kitchen window, you could take, make it a personalized kitchen window curtains. So I see that all the time people are using little tea towels to, to make little uh, kitchen windows out of, or kitchen window curtains. So I think that would be super cute. So the one thing I'm doing tonight, girls, and I offer, um, I'm going to show you how to wash this, but I, I'm offering some sample packs. So um, tonight's is going to be, uh, you're going to get a, a full jar of ink, okay, the black ink, and then you'll get a, a mini squeegee and a stir stick and then a full uh, transfer set. So you get all 12 of the farmhouse transfer sets. And it's for $35, and I'll put in uh, the image in the comments for you guys. And we can order by December 30th. Now, this is the other thing I want to talk to you guys. If there's something that you guys are interested in actually purchasing and would like to see a sample kit with it as well, just let me know. Uh, get with me, and I would be more than happy to work with you on personalizing a sample kit for you guys. Um, but I'll put all the details in the comments. I'm also going to put in, like if you have a Cricut uh, Easy Press, um, basically you would heat it up to 310 and then you would put it on the, hold on, make sure I don't have ink on my hands. Um, you would put it on the design, you'd, put parch you'd still put parchment paper over the design and put your Easy Press on the, on the design and um, for 30 seconds you would have it heat set, okay? Then after you heat set it, you can put it in the in the washer and dry it just like you normally would. Okay. Um, let's see what is. Oh, I'm gonna put in the comments. I'm gonna put in um, how you heat set and the different ways you can use it with your Easy Press or your handheld iron. Then I'm also gonna put in uh, you know my tips that I was telling you about, like you know make sure there's no ink on your fingers. Um, you know, put it in the blue area and then bring it down to your design. So those are some of the things that I'll put in the comments for you guys. I know it's a lot to remember, but remember, if you guys are doing a project and you kind of forget, just hit me up on Facebook. I will be happy, more than happy to answer your questions. Um, now we're going to wash the transfers just like you would with your chalk paste. You can use the same, the same transfers with chalk paste and with ink. So I'm just going to take that down and, um, you know, use, you use your Lysol wipe and just take it off, just wash it off, wash the front and the back. Um, and then I'm going to let, let it dry sticky side up. So make sure it can stain your, the blue part of your transfer. That's fine. You just want to make sure you get uh, the design, the silk screen part. I don't know if you can actually see the screen part on there, um, but that's how you get the clean and crisp designs. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here and let it dry and wash up the rest of it. You can tell it's coming, the ink is coming off really easy. I would think the ink would actually kind of mess up your transfers, but they don't. Okay, sticky side up. Same way with your, your tools. You would just use some cold water and get the ink off. Okay, set that to the side. Okay, let all that dry. So once it's dried, um, you just put it back on the backing that it came with. So this would, this is the shiny side. And that's the side you actually want the uh, transfer to go back on. Okay, the sticky side will go on the shiny side. So remember, S and S are our our group is the shiniest. Um, so once that dries, just put it back on there, and you can reuse it up to eight to twelve times. And that's why I am in love with chalk couture. Not only is it fun, my craft therapy, but I also uh, get to use it over and over again. So. Hey, Judy. So, girls, let me know uh, how I can help you get started. Uh, if you have questions, you know, I have uh, videos 
um, in this group uh, talking about the chalk paste and showing you different projects with the chalk paste, uh, what different surfaces you can put on. Basically, any surface that, um, I want to say almost any surface you can put chalk, chalk couture on. Um, you know, from fab fabrics to wood to chalkboards, uh, you know, our, our hallmark is that we do the chalk chalkboards with, um, you know, the paste and it's all reusable. Uh, we always have new designs every three months. We're doing, we, we have in-house designers that come out with new designs uh, to keep us fresh and in style and in season. So we just kind of transferred out of the Christmas season and now we're into uh, Valentine's. So our designer kit, so if you're interested in doing what I'm doing right now, um, our designer kit is actually a, a Valentine's theme and they actually put two extra transfers in there. So normally it's like 250 products for uh, I think $99. And right now you have $280 worth of products for $99. So it's a really great deal. Um, so let me know if you're interested. Uh, you can type in shop and I can give you the link to um, the products as you can kind of browse and see what you're interested in with no commitment. Um, if you're interested in becoming a designer, just type in join. Um, if you're interested in doing a club couture thing, a club couture is an, a great way just to get started. It's $19.99 a month, and you get an exclusive transfer each month uh, from a chalk couture. We never know what's going to be until the, the new month's here. So, but that's a great way to kind of ease into chalk couture, get your uh, toes wet uh, to see if you even like it. Um, also, my bundles and my sample packs are another great way to kind of ease in to see what, what you're interested in. If you are if you like Chalk Couture, I love it. Um, it was kind of love at first sight for me because I like chalk paint. So um, anyway, check in the comments and I'll have uh, the, the new sample kit and the tips on how to um, heat set your fabrics. And just let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for joining. Bye. Happy chalking.